Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today we'll be discussing one of the many projects, customizations, and solutions we created for our merchants over the years. The topic we'll be discussing in this presentation is Channel Advisor Automation and how automating can increase sales and profitability. My name is Tom and I'll be your presenter for this video. Frequently, merchants ask us about automating their critical business processes. Some of the reasons they cited were that many of their processes were repetitive in nature and prone to error, they were falling short of productivity goals, and many of their business processes required faster completion and turnaround. Finally, but most importantly, they wanted to minimize staff intervention as much as possible. In this presentation, we'll explore an end-to-end -end automation solution we designed, developed, and implemented for one of our merchants using Channel Advisor. They realized Channel Advisor automation was the only way they could grow their business profitably, so they contacted us for help. Since January 2017, they enjoyed a 344% increase in sales due largely to the business automation and third-party integrations developed by Marketplace Reporting. In five short years, they blew past a million order mark, a huge milestone for any company. They could not achieve this level of success without business automation. This project highlights solutions and technologies we've used for various merchants. Let's get started with a Channel Advisor automation presentation. Let's review the Channel Advisor automation project you see on screen. There are seven synchronizers organized into two groups. The yellow group found on the left of the screen requests data from Channel Advisor. There are two synchronizers in this group. The blue group found in the center and right of the screen sends data to Channel Advisor. There are five synchronizers in this group. Each synchronizer is designed to perform a variety of Channel Advisor tasks. These tasks operate automatically without any need for staff intervention. You're looking at a live integration with Channel Advisor in a genuine production environment. The processes you see on screen are real world and not simulated. All synchronizers share common elements and behavior. Let's discuss those common elements. Each synchronizer has tabs located across the bottom which support various tasks. All synchronizers have a database, credentials, monitor, event log, and emails tab. The database tab contains connect info for the local data store. The Credentials tab contained the API keys or FTP connection info for connecting to Channel Advisor. The Monitor tab contains the time until next run including the last run date and time. The Event Log displays all requests made to Channel Advisor. With a Type column indicating the type of requests, the Start and End Date columns indicating when the process began and ended, the Duration indicates the elapsed time for the process. And lastly, the count column indicates how many records or requests were involved during the process. The emails tab contains recipients for the alert and error notifications. When an error occurs, emails are sent to those recipients alerting them to the error method, class, and message. All errors generated are recorded for further reference and analysis. The remaining tabs are task-specific for each synchronizer. They represent a variety of processors each synchronizer is responsible to perform. Lastly, let's discuss architecture and technologies. There are seven different synchronizers organized into two groups. Each synchronizer is responsible for a different set of tasks, which we will discuss specifics later in this presentation. The Windows operating system divides the available processor time among the processes that need it. The system is designed for preemptive multitasking. It allocates the processor time slice for each application that executes taking advantage of modern-day multi-core hyperthreaded CPUs meaning we can get a lot more done in less time. The current configuration provides the highest performance and quickest response time. We implemented Channel Advisor integration using both the REST API, OAuth 2.0, and FTP technologies as required. Let's start discussing the seven synchronizers so you'll have a better understanding of each synchronizer's purpose. We'll get started with the catalog sync located in the upper left hand corner of your screen. The catalog sync is located in the upper left hand corner of your screen. Looking at the event log, you'll see type entries for catalog M and catalog C. These types indicate either last created or last modified. The count column indicates the number of products affected by the request. Let's go to the catalog tab. Its primary purpose is to request and retrieve catalog information. It requests any new product created since the last date created and requests any products modified since the last modified date. The process interval is set to 10 minutes, so catalog information is near real time. Maintaining a local copy of the catalog is crucial to support several other key synchronizer processes. First, all product API requests rely on the Channel Advisor product ID and not your product SKU. 
Product attributes are necessary to support the repricer sync and the eBay policy sync. Having a local copy provides a convenient way to determine if a local product is listed on Channel Advisor. In summary, the catalog sync is responsible for requesting and retrieving product info, attributes, images, and labels. The ship by sync is in the lower left corner of your screen. Looking at the event log, you'll see type entries for both ship by and rechecks. This type indicates the kind of request we are making to Channel Advisor. The count column indicates the number of orders affected by the request. The primary purpose of the ship by synchronizer is to request and retrieve the estimated ship by and deliver by dates for selected orders. The ship by date is a crucial shipment metric. The order must ship no later than the ship by date to avoid shipment issues with the marketplaces and customers. Deliver by date is less important but still necessary to manage customer expectations so you can maintain customer satisfaction and good feedback. There are two tabs ship by and rechecks. Let's go to the ship by tab. The ship by tab is responsible for requesting ship and deliver by dates for orders. The start date is essentially an internal cutoff date for retrieving ship by and deliver by dates. We retrieve all channel advisor orders missing the ship or deliver by date after the start date. The process interval is set to 10 minutes so order deliver by dates is as close to real time as possible. Let's go to the rechecks tab. The Rechecks tab is responsible for rechecking ship and delivery buys. We found situations where the ship and delivery by dates have changed after an initial request. It doesn't happen often, but it does happen. We experienced a situation where several hundred orders, ship by and deliver by dates, inexplicably changed. We run this process at 1 a.m. and look back using the look back date value to recheck ship and delivery by dates for orders in that range. In summary, this ship by sync is responsible for requesting and retrieving estimated ship by and deliver by dates for channel advisor orders. The distribution sync is found in the top center of your screen. The distribution center sync is responsible for uploading warehouse quantities from a variety of suppliers to their respective channel advisor distribution centers. The various files are uploaded to channel advisor via FTPS. Looking at the event log, you'll see type entries from an assortment of distribution centers. This type indicates which distribution center file we are sending to Channel Advisor. The count column indicates the number of products affected by the request for each distribution center. The current warehouse quantities for each supplier is an important value. These quantities are combined for each product and pushed to the marketplaces indicating the current number of units available for sale. Due to the dynamic nature of sales in the marketplaces, unit quantities must be updated frequently. This synchronizer supports two tasks found in the following tab. Distribution Centers and Vendors. Let's discuss the Distribution Centers tab first. This tab lists each supplier in their corresponding distribution center at Channel Advisor. The current column contains the current number of products with zero quantity on hand submitted to Channel Advisor. The previous column contains the previous number of products with zero quantity on hand submitted to Channel Advisor. The difference percent is a predefined value indicating the permissible limit of difference between the current and previous values. If the variance percent exceeds the predefined difference percent, the file for that distribution center is blocked from transmission to Channel Advisor for further review. Extreme fluctuation of products without a stock can cause unexpected results on marketplaces. With Amazon, you lose the momentum that you paid to build through PPC. Your listings ranking drop and you will no longer appear as a seller in that listing. With eBay, your listings are ended and you can no longer sell those products until relisted. It will cost you to relist those items once they're back in stock. If enough listings are ended, it can get expensive to relist those items. Due to potential adverse consequences, it's best to review these out of stocks prior to submitting them to Channel Advisor. If you determine the variance percent is correct, then you can manually reset the variance back to zero. The file will no longer be blocked and automatically upload to Channel Advisor next time the distribution sync uploads to files. Let's go to the Vendors tab. The process interval is set to 30 minutes, so distribution center stocking files are as close to real time as possible. In summary, the distribution center sync is responsible for collecting and packaging product quantities from the local data store. It transmits those files to respective Channel Advisor distribution centers. I think by now you get the idea of how the synchronizers work with the Channel Advisor integration. We'll speed up this presentation by providing a high level summary of the remaining five synchronizers. The next synchronizer up for discussion is the Channel Advisor SE Sync. It's located in the bottom center of your screen. 
It is like a distribution center sink, but uploads local warehouse unit quantities. There are three tabs for the task the synchronizer performs. Differentials, inventory, and kits. The differentials tasks are essentially the differences or deltas in unit quantity changes between the current and previous uploaded channel advisor. This process runs every 10 minutes. The inventory process is the entire local warehouse inventory file with current unit quantities. This ensures no product quantities are missed. The full file is sent to Channel Advisor every six hours. Finally, the kits process calculates the number of kits that can be assembled based on the current component quantities. This process runs every 60 minutes. The next synchronizer up for discussion is Repricer Sync. It's located in the upper right of your screen. The Repricer Sync is responsible for repricing products and uploading those changes to Channel Advisor. There are additional synchronizers we have not discussed in this presentation that generate cost, default supplier, ship cost, and map change triggers. If a change generates a repricing trigger, then the product is added to the repricing queue. Any products found in the repricing queue are automatically recalculated and uploaded to Channel Advisor. The options found in the repricing tab control a variety of calculations for repricing products. Let's look at the min shipments option. This option sets the minimum number of shipments necessary to calculate average ship costs. Let's look at the top option. This value controls the number of requests made to Channel Advisor. Channel Advisor throttles API requests, so we must limit each batch to prevent too many request errors. The next synchronizer for discussion is the eBay Ship Policy Sync. It's located in the middle right of your screen. The eBay policy sync we created calculates the correct eBay shipping policy using the current turnaround time for products queued for policy changes. Product turnaround times are calculated by the vendor synchronizers not discussed in this presentation. There are three tabs for the tasks this synchronizer performs. Ship policy, kits, and back orders. The ship policy task recalculates the eBay ship policy for any products found in the policy change queue. The ship policy change queue is checked every 10 minutes. The kits task automatically recalculates eBay ship policy for all kits every 60 minutes since component turnaround times may have changed. The BOS task entails unit quantity adjustment for back orders. These changes are automatically uploaded to Channel Advisor and pushed to eBay without any staff involvement. eBay customers now have a more realistic expectation when their purchase will ship and when they can expect delivery. The final synchronizer up for discussion is the shipment sync. It is located in the lower right of your screen. The shipment sync is responsible for synchronizing warehouse shipments with Channel Advisor. It checks every 20 minutes for completed orders ready for shipment. Shipping and tracking information is sent to Channel Advisor automatically. If the estimated ship date is the same as the current day, special attention is paid to those orders. This ensures shipping and tracking information is sent to Channel Advisor in a timely manner, avoiding any late shipments. This wraps up our presentation of the Channel Advisor automation projects. Business process automation is a specialty of ours. What takes your staff hours or days to accomplish manually can be automated to process the same task reliably and consistently. Start to finish, automated processes should take seconds or minutes, not hours or days. Let your computers do what it does best, process data. Automation is crucial for any business, especially yours. You can contact us at sales at Marketplace Reporting to learn more about Marketplace Reporting and how we can help. Join the conversation at Marketplace Reporting forward slash blog. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share with your colleagues. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.